So I have got the glove, Foot oh. Joy glove giveaway. Um, I can't even remember how many gloves it is. <laughs> Right guys, welcome back to another Sunday morning show. Lester, welcome back. Good, so uh, what a good difference morning. A, what, well, good, yeah, what a difference a week makes. It's bold we to are do, isn't it? inside for a start. We're wearing waterproof tops. I'm cold. And you're <laughs> feeling the cold. <laughs> I think it's all the sunburn that you've had over the last week. Yeah. How's your starting been? Really, really enjoyed it actually. Have you? It's, a, it's um, a little position, a little job that I quite liked when I was about when you retire. 60, I guess, and retire, being the retiring, that we're banter on the tea. Well, and... You carry on the way you're going, you'll be retired <laughs> earlier than that. Oh, but I won't. Uh, Never get rich working for you. <laughs> so basically, Lester and I have, have, um, have well, we kind of volunteered. Yeah, yeah. Volunteered our time, because obviously the pro shop can't open at the moment. Uh, we volunteered our time to do a little bit of starting, and uh, it's quite nice meeting mm. up with the members, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, yeah, I quite enjoy I it. I bet you've seen some golf shots, haven't you? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a hole in one. Yes, you have. Chris, New yeah, Chris Newbold on the, he was playing, so the 18th hole at Torquay crosses yeah. the first. So from the tee position on 18, the pin was back, but you couldn't see it from his tee position. Right. But I was stood on the tee, so the first tee, which is about halfway between where they are in the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, landed on the front of the green, rolled up, and went in dead weight. Lovely, that's the way to do yeah, it. Yeah. And he didn't I, have a clue either. Him, well, I spoke to him, he said it's his second hole in one. Yeah. So uh, he was uh, quite chuffed. He actually came back and yeah. played the next day. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually seen someone drive the green off the first tee. I oh, know, I saw that. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah. Not quite the right green, <laughs> but he popped it onto the putting green, wasn't he? It wasn't a hole in one, it was a round in one. <laughs> Literally, I thought I was having the ball. The ball was coming at me, across me, and then onto the button. Um, some of the questions that we've had, well, one yeah. of the ones, the big one that's kind of comes up, is that little lawnmower that we had no, last no. week. So oh. there, was a little, there was a little lawnmower floating about around the practice ground. It's over there. And it? it's over there. So for those of you that didn't know what it was, it's our little Brooksy, isn't it? Yeah. So our head greenkeeper here, our course manager now, he's been... His title is, uh, is Jason Brooks, and we've called the little lawnmower. It's an electric lawnmower. It plugs itself in and G goes off on its own. GPS, GPS so it can yeah. only it stays in a certain boundary. And so we set it up to do the cutting around the practice ground, the short game area, basically. And um, it was just bopping around. I mean, I didn't even notice it behind us. But no. everything, but every, obviously, a lot of people were like fixated <laughs> on that rather than listening to us two. They were watching what was going on with the. Uh, it's probably more entertaining. It probably was. To be fair. <laughs> Get yourself back to sleep on a Sunday morning. <laughs> um, so that's our little Brooksy. So it just bops around the short game area and, and yeah. cuts the cuts the edges of the of the, uh, of the short game area. So that's what that is. Something else that someone said was that yeah. you look like a young Peter Alice. Oh. He's How does lucky. that feel? Oh, you must be lucky if, if you look like me. Do you reckon people go up to him and say to Peter Alice, "You look like an old Lester Barnes"? I hope so. I really hope they do, yeah. I've actually just gone on to um, the uh, Wikipedia and have a look at him up. And look him up. We're not sure what young Peter Alice kind of looks no, like. No, I can't really find anything of him that young ago, really. I've got his dad. His dad was called Percy. Per oh, yeah, Percy. I can't find many younger pictures of him, but he... Uh, do you know how old Peter Alice is? No, he's got to be in his 80s, isn't he? Is that your guess? Go on, have a guess. 82. 89. 89. Yeah. So... Peter, but Peter Alice, there's, does your dad know Peter Alice? No, I don't think so. Because he was very good friends with Ray Reardon, wasn't he? Peter Alice? Of course, still is very good friends with Ray Reardon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they're good. Because he stays at the palace when he used to come down to Torquay. Oh, never yeah. met him, but... Never met him. They had the um, Palace Hotel where I used to, where I used to work and the door I used to work. Yeah. They had the Par 3 Championship there, didn't Correct. they? Correct. And the Par 3 Championship that started at... Um, the Palace Hotel here in Torquay, which is unfortunately shut down now and um, been knocked down, I think, yeah. in the middle of doing that. They had used to have a little par three course, and Leicester used to work there. And um, they started off a par three championship, the British par three championship, I think it's kind of originally. I think from it that. ran from 1930 to 1970. Is that right? I've got so a couple of the pictures. And um, Percy Alice used to play in it. Yeah. Max Faulkner, Max Faulkner yeah. who was an open champion. Di Reese. Di Reese. Yeah, Ryder Cup player. Um, but where. and, and Peter Alice talks about this a lot when the Masters is on, 
Yeah. He always mentions it, is when the Par 3 event is going on at the Masters, the idea came from the Palace Hotel here in Torquay. So the next time you're watching the uh, Par 3 Championship, which will hopefully be in, I think, November for the Masters, is that that's the plan? Yeah. Um, when you watch the Par 3 Championship, it kind of, the idea came from Torquay, Torquay's the Palace Hotel. So they learn something, well, something new every day. They still play it, don't they? But they play on a slightly longer course. I don't know, um, there is a British Par 3 that, championship. I think that's yeah. the one, I think that's what it's sort of um, Richard, gone o, into. Richard O'Hanlon's won that, yeah. I think maybe twice. You get quite a few of the seniors play it, don't yeah. you? get, I think, was Woosnam was the main yeah. guy running it a couple of years ago. There's a few guys that, that, playing yeah. it have, have, that have played some obviously high level golf, golf, you know. Yeah. So, um, and talking about high level golf. Why are you looking at me? Because well, <laughs> you're a scratch golfer. <laughs> Oh, One of the best level. scratch golfers I've ever seen. <laughs> high level golf. Some of the questions that I've had in is about hitting yardages, obviously doing gap testing and things like that. Yeah. And some of the questions that we've had in are about how do you how do you manage sometimes the gap between, let's say, and we'll, uh, we'll use it today, we'll go between your eight iron and your seven iron. So, yeah. so for example, let's say you, and I'm not saying you do, but let's say you hit seven iron 160 yards. I do. That's quite a, Is that it? That is my, yeah, that's my... Uh, okay, that's so my let's say let's do it's the <laughs> 7 iron 160. <laughs> and let's say that you hit your 8 iron 150. Yeah. You do? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there you Very go. Very similar, yeah. So how do you hit the 155 number? Okay. So I thought what we'd do today, as we're in our little uh, outdoor studio mm -hmm. now... It's now got a roof on it. We've got a roof on it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Why don't we try and do that today and just explain to them how you do it. Okay. I might jump in, but ultimately I want to see how you're doing it yep. um, for the purpose of this video. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's get you up to the white flag in the distance, yep. all right? And let's see what numbers you're getting right now with quad. Strike. Okay, 157 with a slightly clean strike. So that yeah. would make about right, wouldn't it? You're going to lose you know, a little bit of ball speed off of that. Similar strike. So one five seven. <laughs> Repeat. Repeat. One five seven. So that's two shots in a row. One five seven. Both, I'm both quite, quite clean though. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, I let's go one more. I haven't warmed up properly, really, have I? Yeah. That's all right. Okay, good. Better strike. Sounded better. One six two. So that's my number. That's more like where you should be. Okay, right. Now you grab your eight iron. Yeah, good. Good spat strike. Yeah. Sounded good. There we go. One five one. Very good again. One five eight. Get, oh, did you get hold of that one yeah, a bit? Was, um... Got a bit of, bit of hook on it. Yeah. Okay, and again. Okay, gonna get and bang on one fifty. So we can see that Leicester is hitting his 7-iron 160 on an average with a carry. And we know that he's hitting his 8-iron 150 on an average with a carry. Now what I want you to do is I want you to be able to hit your 8-iron 5 yards further. Okay. How would you hit it 5 yards further? So take, the, take the technical out of it. Okay. I just want you to hit that 8-iron 5 yards further in the air than what the numbers here are yep. indicating. So how are you going to do that? I'm just going to swing it slightly quicker. So you go it's out and increase my swing course, speed. You'll yeah. just increase your swing speed to, to deal with that situation. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Okay. So one more five five. Yeah, one five five. So you're just going to go five yards further than what you would normally okay. do. Okay. One five six yeah. on the carry. Perfect. Good again. 153. So just you getting that eight iron to be hit it harder, getting you're it getting that. Yeah. Do you ever concern yourself about the control of it though when you do that? Yeah, I mean ideally I wouldn't. Possibly, I would, I'd probably play if I was on a course. I'd play the seven iron and play it softer. Okay, so we're going to come on to that one now. Yeah. But you, do you feel like you would lose any control with that eight yeah, iron? Yeah, I mean you'd probably see harder. the consistency. When I was hitting the eight iron in the three or four shots when we were getting numbers, I was more or less landing it in the same place on the green, wasn't I? Yeah. It was going very much to the target. The second one I hit, I pulled it left about 25, 30 yards left of the green. Okay. So that would be obviously be a bit of a concern. So yeah, so you by you going at it harder, you feel that you lose a little yeah. bit of control? Probably if I was playing, I would, if I was going to go a little bit harder, I'd aim a little bit right, because generally I do tend to pull it 
and hit it slightly left. So I probably would aim right at target if I was trying to hit it a little bit harder. Right, seven iron now. Yeah. So I want you to do the same thing. So I need you to hit it 155. How are you going to do that? So there's a, there's a couple of options. Um, so you can either swing it. I could either swing it slightly um, slightly slower than I could previously do, yeah. or I can grip down the club slightly. So okay. choke down. So how do you do it? I would slightly choke. Just slightly choke down and hit it slightly easier. So a combination of the two, really. A combination of the two yeah. to hit it 155. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's see it. So gripping down the club is obviously shortening, shortening, shortening the club, which in turn should hopefully bring your swing speed down fractionally. Yeah, I mean, I'm just probably half an inch, half an inch. inch, inch. Yeah. Normally just... I'm half an inch from the top, now I'm probably an inch. Okay, let's see it. So 155, would you want? Okay, nice and controlled. 151, pretty good. That's good. Still, what I like about that though is you're still, you're still playing your normal shape. Yeah. That's what's so good about that particular shot that you're saying there by gripping down. You're not doing anything different than the golf swing. No, no, you're just gripping down, uh, shortening the club, making it slower the swing speed, which ultimately will reduce the ball speed, and then you're still hitting, hitting your, hitting your shape that you like. I'm gonna get a 155 here. Ready? Let's see it. 155. That's a bit duffy. Oh, no. 157. What I liked about it, again, is you're, you're creating the same shape. So you're yeah. not having to change much. No. Other than you manoeuvring the club itself and, and using swing speed to change the numbers that you're getting. There. I like that. One more. See if we can get the 155. Hello. Got it? Hello. Hello. 155, he's hit it as well. Prize. I was expecting like lights to go off and like a jackpot sign and you know when you, like, when you, when you win the jackpot. Yeah, it's got no lights in it. No, notice that. So I used to do something similar to Leicester but manoeuvre more around with speed. So I used to just hit it harder and softer like Leicester did there. I wasn't a big fan of going up and, around, up and down the grip. Yeah. That used to sort of throw me out a little bit. Probably because obviously the grip got a bit thinner as you went down the club which then it just didn't feel quite as comfortable, so I used to struggle with that a little bit. So now for me to hit those two numbers, I'm the same as Lester, I right? hit 160 with a seven iron, 150 with an eight iron. For me to hit my eight iron, 155. So I'm simply gonna use the shape of the shot in order to change my yardage. So by me using an eight iron, I'm gonna hit a little draw. So what I'm gonna be able to do is move my path more into out. I'm gonna take loft off the club by hitting that draw shot. And hopefully we should be able to get it to get it into that 155 number. So just that little bit of extra draw is just de-lofting the club just that little bit more. So it's basically I'm delivering a seven iron. That's what I'm kind of delivering with it. There you go, a little bit of draw, one, five, six. Now though, seven iron, I do the reverse. So again, normal grip position with the seven iron, same swing speed as what I'm trying to use. But now I'm trying to hit a little cut. So by me hitting a little cut, I've got my feet aiming slightly down the left side. I'm swinging it more out to in and I'm keeping that club face nice and neutral so I can get that shape on it. So a little fade, which is going to give me that little bit of extra loft and then it should come down on that 155 number. So 154 with the 7 iron. Right, so there's a couple of different ways in which you can hit different numbers kind of if you're trying to get in between the, your, your yardages basically. You're doing it through speed and I'm doing it through kind of loft. Um, so I'm trying to keep my speed as similar as I can, trying to keep it as simple as I can for me, whereas you're happy to sort of maneuver your way around the club a little bit. It's quite a good lesson, isn't it? There's lots absolutely. of ways of doing things. Two completely People different ways. Different yeah, I, I find it a bit of a struggle, to, um, to, especially under a bit of pressure. So if I'm like pumped up, I've got a bit of adrenaline going and things like that, um, I struggle to be able to manage my speed that well. So I'm, I'm, I'm generally quite jumpy when it comes to that with my yardages, whereas with this method, I've, because I've practiced it a lot and used it a lot, it kind of, it, it seems yeah. to work better for me. It's finding what works here. Absolutely, yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. But can I ask a question? Because um, I yeah. feel like you just asked all the questions. I feel like I've taken over on this show. <laughs> it's not called the Dan Hendrickson show, it's the Sunday show. <laughs> Right, first question. Um, you've got a little bit mean in your uh, in the last few weeks. You were going to do a giveaway. You haven't given anything away. What's going on? I know. What? What's going on? Well, the problem is all the companies closed down, 
and therefore no, the, you, the you, communication between the, the marketing guys and things like that. Yeah, was but just you a promised. But you did promise. You're right. There you was a promise. giveaway which I've forgotten to do, and I should have done it about yeah. two Sunday shows ago, but I didn't, ran, didn't get around to doing it. So I have got the glove, Foot oh. Joy glove giveaway. Um, I can't even remember how many gloves it is. <laughs> I've got six gloves to give away of their choice from FootJoy, so that should pretty much see them through, I would say, the rest of this season. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right, so we're going to do a little scroll through. I've got this new kind of randomised scrolling thing that Lee's hooked me up with, so let's have a little go. So uh -huh. press start and a random pick. Here it goes. That's a bit strange. The winner is Sailing609, whoever that is. Sailing 609 is the winner. So there you go, there's the winner of the six gloves that they've selected. And I'll have to scroll through and find out what it was. Oh, hi, great videos, keep them coming. Weather soft small. So six weather soft smalls you know coming about their way. Small gloves. Small hands. Yeah, exactly. So there you go, the winner is Sailing 609, winning six uh, weather soft gloves. High small. Go for it. Can I have a question? Yes, please. Right. Uh, I keep getting asked, yeah. when are we going to do a vlog? When are we getting on the golf course? We've been. They don't know that. We've been on the golf course. We've got go. something special coming for you tomorrow. So six o'clock tomorrow evening, Monday, is going to be when they course come out. Vlog. Course vlog. Leicester and I have been out and Talkie done golf 18 club. holes at Torquay Golf Club. We had to run around in the end because it was yeah, uh, yeah. getting, we were struggling for light because we were teeing off after the members at 6.30 in the evening. It was getting dark around 9, 9.15, so we've run around. If you've seen any of our Instagrams, you've seen us running across the golf course. Yeah. But we managed to get it done, so we it's did, coming yeah. out tomorrow. Cool. Are you happy? I'm always happy. Yeah? Because I know you've been looking forward to these vlogs. I, I do like the vlogs. It's, it was nice getting back out on the course, it was, wasn't, wasn't it? Yeah. My first, your second game back, my yeah. first game back. Yeah. It was, uh, it was pretty nice. Wasn't it? Obviously, if you've got any more questions that you want to fire our way, we'll happily read those out if we can uh, on the Sunday morning show. That's what this show is kind of about, really. Try or and any, answer or the any questions. subjects they want to Or any subjects as well. So anything that you want to talk about or want us to, to sort of talk about, whether it's getting numbers like we've done today and sort of giving you ideas on how we do it. Uh, yeah, pop your comments down below. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. And as always, stay safe. And we'll see you again next Sunday. See you next Sunday. Next Sunday.